while you're at Dade City. Kind of just did Ferris Moto. It was a little, a little slick, a little bit on the top, but other than that, it was pretty good. Pace here is not riding, unfortunate, because he would have barked it up. So, lost the nail, but see the little nail like right there? She just licked her lens so that she gets the dirt off. Fast. There's literally a freaking cleaner right there. That works. What do you think about licking your goggle and just to clean it? Licking it. I've licked the cover thing before, but not necessarily the actual lens. You had the cover in your hand, just like that. No. Or, even better, or even better still. Yeah, you use that. No. Want a little spray? Doesn't work as good as Spish Oh, no, Spish Iron. It's pretty good, Spish Iron. Are we doing the robot? We're doing the robot. You're moving your butt. You're just moving your butt and you're locked in. Like, 
it's you're you're oh. you gotta divide it 50 50 and whatever one hey, side does. You go with the flow, bro. Oh, I get it. Like, wait, still not it. <laughs> this is the problem. Okay. Everything you just did, you went forward. You gotta go back. You started to do it and you just cut me, you collapse forward. It's like yeah. that is what's happening out there. Get it back. Okay? Just like school. If you don't understand, you're never gonna have it. So let's let's have it before we go out. At Mountain Motorsports, we don't just sell power sports, we sell opportunities for adventure. Mountain Motorsports operates 10 dealerships across Georgia, Tennessee, and Alabama with tons of in-stock inventory of motorcycles, ATVs, side-by-sides, watercraft, and more. It's our mission to help you find and customize the perfect machine for you and your riding style. Not only are we committed to getting you on the perfect machine, but with over 200 years of combined experience in our service departments, we also support you through every step of your adventure ahead. Together, we make the road less traveled the most thrilling adventure of your life. Your, your ankle movement is where everything creates, right? You have a perfect stance. I cannot actually get you in a better position. It's what you're doing with your ankles that you have to be able to understand, like this one right here. Like, look at that. Like, I could stand here all day. You just like, and it's like on the well, like on the rollers. Like, you're just yeah. like, doesn't matter if it's a small bike or a little bike. Like, look at that. You know how like jet looks effortless, right? I mean, dude, look at it. Like, what are you gonna do? Bike comes up, you go like this, like this, and like you know, other people are like, ah, ah. Now drop your heels. Literally, drop your heels. So it hurts your calves. I actually really want it to hurt your calves. Hey, bend your feet up and down. Pop, 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 pop. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Dad became one with the bike. Look at him. Just don't, I'm just looking. But this actually is going to be the difference between you racing at a, any high level than where you're at. Because if you don't figure this out, you will never, ever have it, and you will never be better. I promise you that. Okay. It's, you're, you're, you're taking this way too heavy. Like this is a very simple, you just gotta figure it out. Well, this should make the first some entertainment. If all else fails, this should be a good episode of Ridiculousness.
sometimes they're my favorite, you know, like sometimes the kids want to go out and flex and try to ride fast and it's not always about that. Like sometimes you got to actually have the skill, have the understanding of the technique. I could cram it all in and you try to learn it overnight, but big success is, is always met with a lot of failures and I think the fire flaming out. So for me, it's like, you just got to step by step. And it's like, sometimes like an onion, you got to unravel it and take layer by layer and understand what's happening. And I'm, I think today is awesome, to be honest, because it gives us, honestly, like, it's something that Ellie can work on with the kids. Like, literally, oh my God, home, dance gonna, I was going to say, like, I actually think that I need to be careful what I say here because she's going to sign me up for dance classes. Dance classes. Yes. Honestly, like, right now, it's not even about riding a dirt bike. It's literally, you have to figure out a certain body movement uh, to have it. There's no easier way to say that. Like, I actually am super excited for what we what I just kind of seen because I see him and he works on it and he kind of does it but like the movement isn't natural and it's there's a lot of things that he needs to work on and I'm gonna leave it at that because I think that that's a inner circle behind cameras conversation um, and so we'll go to work I promise you <laughs> he can relax he can roll off the throttle right